Solake Abdurazak has given birth twice, but the third time it went horribly wrong. Her baby's head got stuck in her pelvis and the pressure burnt a hole between her vagina and bladder. The result, urine constantly leaked straight into her vagina. Surgery at a teaching hospital, the only place where doctors could treat her, cost too much for her family to afford. It's been five years. Up to 150,000 have fistula and 12,000 new cases are recorded each year, but the number far outstrips the surgeon's skill and knowledge. Fistula is beyond medical school. Knowledge about how to deal with it comes from training. We know there are backlogs, that, but also we have courage from others. So we want people to come and learn the procedure so that they can take but. Dr. Wara began fistula training in 2005 and now consults for Fistula Care Plus, a project funded by the U.S. government to treat women with the condition. He and Dr. Saad Idris have helped train some 32 doctors and 74 nurses since 2007. Out of probably uh, the, the percentage of doctors we train, we may say probably 10% are in the field now. There are so many issues about it. One, maybe because of the complicity of the cases. <laughs> Two, maybe because there are some other things that doctors are being carried uh, away with. Nearly seven of every ten workers trained have moved on to administrative work away from the theaters where women need them, sucked away by what experts are calling a brain shift. Fistula surgery only recently attracts certification, but it hardly counts for much in career advancement or money. If you have a pregnant woman coming in, you can go straight ahead and do a caesarean section, and you get a live baby and a happy woman. Then the whole family will be happy. But in Bazaiko Regina Fistula, you may see only a miserable woman coming on her own, she may not even have transport money to transport herself to the, to the facility or a hospital. If not for the assistance that we are getting, this woman has nothing. So, she will be treated free. She needs even assistance uh, to even go home, even while she is close and dry. So I think the the, the 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 monetary aspect of it or the material aspect of it is another thing. Idris was on a mercy ship when he got a call to become the health commissioner for Zamfara State, but managed to keep doing fistula work in a pool effort that brings few doctors to a patient load of more than eight thousand in twelve hospitals. Truly speaking, the UF area is not an area for getting money. So you have to know that from the beginning. It is a sacrifice, and uh, we can't do the sacrifice when we start our time. So when you see the patient, you feel really important and something that you don't care about. But outside of the black community, they are lost because they are so few in the numbers. But, you know, the truth is that for the patient who is able to fix the number, it's a big problem for them. If somebody can come tell you about it, it's a And that's the problem. Because it's not your people who are isolated, Teaching hospitals have the brains with the most potential to do fistula surgeries, but they don't have enough exposure because patients like Falake aren't going there. Instead, doctors like Halima Bello and Shikura Okishina are going to them. Both gynecologists started their training at a round of free surgeries in the lower. I've always been with the women for some time, but um, this aspect of um, the medical practice does the fistula care has really made me to have um, a lot of interest in women because I have pity on them when I see them suffering from some kind of um, stigma or um, trying to get themselves like other women being uh, outcast and things like that so it makes me feel so bad and I really want to be a part of it so that I can assist as much or as many women as I can. Years after she gave up hope, Falake has left her family in Kogi to join some 40 women 
lined up for the latest round of free fistula surgery.